I've done it again. I'm doing it always. What is my life? So tis the season for every store having their holiday sales and I am a sucker for a discount and I really thought that my last video that I did comparing some coach outlet and retail bags was going to be my last unboxing of the year but of course I got an email I got a notification that there was a fantastic sale going on at coach and my favorite plugin browser cashback app Rakuten had a special 10% back day and of course you know I had to do it I checked out the sale and I immediately fell in love with a new bag and my justification was the last couple unboxings that I've done for my channel have been small everyday handbags and I had not had an unboxing for a new work bag so when I saw this bag go on sale and I got the 10% back from Rakuten, I just couldn't say no. I thought this is perfect. It's a little bit different of an unboxing for you guys. Uh, and I could always add another work bag to my collection. I am still using my fabulous Coach Brook Carry All from the boutique. Um, I did a uh, review on this bag and what fits, which I will link for you guys. Really great bag. I use it quite, I've been using it consistently for about a year now. It is really one of my only work bags that I really like. I have a few others that I might um, change into, like if it's really, really rainy and I know I'm going to be out in the rain with my work stuff, I have a bag specifically for that. Um, but I don't have a lot of work bags, so I was definitely passively in the market waiting for one to really speak to me that I wanted to jump on. So in today's video, I'm going to um, kind of transfer everything from my brook over into the new bag, um, just to show you guys what fits and we'll do first impressions um, and all that kind of stuff. So let's just get into the unboxing because I'm really excited to see the bag. So my unboxing area is currently occupied by the goodest boy ever. This is Theo. He's my year and a half kitty boy. If you guys watch my TikToks, you'll see him in there a lot. He absolutely loves being the center of attention. He loves being wherever I am. So I'm just gonna let him uh, do his thing until he's ready to move. I don't know how I'm possibly supposed to continue on with this unboxing. He's being so cute. All right, kitty boy, I was gonna let you just do your own thing and move, but I'm gonna have to displace you, okay? Oh, I know, so grumpy. Why don't you go play with your sisters? Alrighty guys, as you can see, this is a fairly big box. Um, I did ask to have this gift wrapped um, because I just felt it was appropriate for the season. Um, and, you know, this was an expensive bag, so I thought I would get the full Lux experience. Um, I've not done one of these kinds of unboxings using a bar stool, so we'll see how it goes. I have not opened any of this yet. The only thing I've done is obviously take off my mailing address. All right. Yes, it is gift wrapped. Just so you guys can see, it comes in this big recycled box. And it's come in this beautiful big ribbon tied box with a little snowman charm how cute all right i love coach's um, christmas wrapping and this ornament is so cute it's actually like a really nice cardstock you can write if it is a gift to from but anyway let's get this unwrapped obviously not the point of the video but this little snowman charm or uh, ornament is very cute and it's going to go right here. As always, gift packaging from Coach. The boutique is fabulous. I keep all the ribbon and I also keep all the packaging um, to stuff my bags. So let's see. Comes in a dust cover, dust bag, very lovely. All right, get this unwrapped. You guys have seen, you'll have seen from the 
thumbnail which bag this is oh my gosh wow that is beautiful all right hopefully i didn't mess up the camera angles too much with that little unbox thing but anyway this is the bag i picked up this is the coach rogue briefcase in the signature textile jacquard now a couple items of note if you've been following along on my channel you'll know that i recently made a video kind of dunking on the coach rogue 20 that i picked up last year um <laughs> i had a lot of really negative things to say about that particular bag um just the size and um, certain design aspects of it and a lot of you guys were so nice and suggested you know trying different sizes and you know um, different varieties of the bag so I'm definitely open to exploring the Rogue line a little bit more when I saw this bag go on sale I think it was 40% off from the regular retail price and then I got the extra 10% off from Rakuten I know I've already blabbled on and on about it um, but I will have a referral link down in the description if you guys want to check out Rakuten, save you some money, or at least get some cash back. Um, and a huge shout out to all of you guys that have already used my referral code. It helps me out a ton. And obviously I do this for fun, uh, and I love bags, so that's not really what I'm here to do. Uh, I'm just sharing my collection with you guys, but it definitely helps those referral codes um, so anyway, uh, first impressions, I'm going to unzip and inspect and unstuff this bag so I can be a little bit more informed, um, and then we'll get down into the nitty gritty of it. Alrighty, so I've got it unstuffed. Just one quick thing of note is that it comes with a very, very hefty crossbody strap. This is a very nice strap. I will say the, um, I think these are called like dog, dog leash clasps whatever kind of clasps these are if you can see that very sturdy just so you guys know if you're interested in this bag it comes with a very nice crossbody strap and if you are wondering theo did not leave my side he is currently by my feet um staring up at me a little crazily i'm a little worried for my um skin because he likes to jump up and like claw into me First impressions, it's obviously a really high quality bag. The Coach Boutique does a fabulous job um, putting these bags together and making them feel really luxurious. I love this print. I'm um, you know, blown away as always by the details and I'm really excited to get this stuffed with my work stuff <laughs> and uh, start using it. So let's transfer everything over from my brook into this bag and we'll see um how that goes Alrighty, guys just in the interest of time and my sanity i'm not gonna um do like a transfer from one bag into the other um, i'm just gonna like have this one off camera but this is the brook carry all um, and this i have it pretty stuffed i don't have my laptop currently in the bag but i do have my larger ipad but just know that like a kind of standard 12 inch laptop will also fit in the brook. I have a more detailed video on like what all will fit. So let's get some of these items transferred over and we'll see how much we can get into the Rogue briefcase. Just a quick peek inside this bag before I start filling it. Uh, typical Rogue fashion, there are three compartments, a slip, uh, very slim compartment in the front and the back, and then a zippered compartment down the middle. I like this one um, specifically because it's got the laptop sleeve right here. It is lined in a canvas material with some leather trim. The cat is just being insane right now. He loves being involved, which I love, but he's also a very crazy boy. So if you hear him in the background, that's him. Anyway, um, in this pocket, in one of the pockets, there are some um, other like, you know, divider pockets, whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, interior, same deal. And on the other side, there's just a business card slot right there. Um, the outer pockets close with a magnet, which I think is quite smart. It keeps it a very slim um, silhouette. Obviously, this is a briefcase, so they want it to be nice and slim. First thing first that goes inside is my iPad. I actually ran upstairs to grab my laptop because when I was putting my iPad in here, I noticed that, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, I'm gonna try. 
um, the leather tab here that would like close this pocket is actually quite short. And with my laptop in here, it doesn't, there's not enough closure space. Um, and that's kind of disappointing because, I mean, if you can hear, the button is now hitting my laptop. And so I'm going to have to like train that down um, because it won't go over my laptop. But anyway, we'll, we'll power through. Um, iPad in fits nicely so far. Let's go grab some more items. Next up are my big four. I have my Kindle, my journal, my trusty Filofax, and my essentials pouch. I figure the Filofax is going to have to go into this big center pocket because it's quite thick, whereas the journal and the Kindle can go on the outside pocket. Again, with the Rogue, the thing doesn't want to stay. Um, yeah, that fits nicely. You can't barely see that it's in there. Again, this setup isn't ideal, but it's just what I've got right now. For the essentials pouch, if you guys are curious, this has like first aid, some um, body balm, uh, my mouse in there. This is a nice little Toomey organizer that I picked up at the outlet. It was like $19. Works perfectly for all my work essentials. Again, this is fairly large, so it's gonna have to go in the main compartment. We are running a little bit out of width space, so I might actually just take my mouse out of here so this, can t this um, organizer is a little bit more slim. Yeah, that works better. And then I'll just put my mouse into the inside of the bag. And aside from like some gum and mints, that's all I would typically carry in my work bag. Zips up nicely. Quite hefty, obviously. I mean, it's just as heavy as my other work bag. Um, but yeah, everything fit in there with some extra room. I mean, I've got this whole back pocket. Obviously, you'd want to put something slim back there, like if the leather strap was a little bit longer on the inside where the laptop was, I would consider putting my iPad here, but kind of is what it is. I knew that this was kind of a slimmer bag. I am disappointed about the leather strap a little bit, but I think all in all, it's just such a beautiful bag and it works for all the things that I carry to work. So I think we're going to give this bag maybe an eight out of 10. Could use some work, but, and this is like totally arbitrary because I never do this on my channel. Um, but yeah, eight out of 10, beautiful bag. Um, again, there's some design choices that I would um, change, but I think it's pretty good. Alrighty guys, well, that's about all I've got for you today. Definitely let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of this briefcase, what you think generally of the Rogue line as a work bag. Um, and if you carry the typical size Rogue as a um, work bag with your laptop in it, definitely let me know um, how that works for you because I am still quite charmed by the Rogue, despite some of the negative things that I've said about it. Those larger ones do look like they work really great as a work bag. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Your guys' engagement with my content really helps me stay motivated to create videos, which I really enjoy doing. If you'd like to get a little bit more content, you can follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. The quality of that content is subject to change, <laughs> um, but I'm definitely active over there, so check it out. My handle is at BVPDX. Lastly, if you have any video ideas or things that you would like me to compare or talk about, definitely let me know. I would love hearing from you guys, and I've gotten a lot of really great ideas that are in the works from a number of you. Yes. <laughs> oh, please don't chew on that. Alrighty, guys. Well, until the next video, thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.